<laughs> I was just reading this uh, this law book. Yeah, <laughs> American law. Oh, <laughs> could you get me all the interns in the federal government? Yes. <laughs> How many of them are Jewish and how many of them think they're men? <laughs> that doesn't mean lesbian. Okay, they know the difference. Yes. <laughs> but they were employed. <laughs> you are attractive. <laughs> Why don't you volunteer to visit the 100 best places of 2018 <laughs> for the next 50 months? Yes. And just wear a shirt that doesn't fit. <laughs> Now, um, this the, the civil trial procedure? Yes. <laughs> Most civil cases do not reach trial. Instead, they are settled, voluntarily withdrawn, or decide on the merits prior to trial. <laughs> these civil trials, these are not criminal, are they? No. <laughs> uh, what is a dissolution of marriage? Is that a civil... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I once mentioned about <laughs> can you actually appeal a, a dissolution of marriage where you weren't given any actual notice of court hearings? <laughs> you know, as the individual that had the most ineffective notice of court hearings and <laughs> probably every documented in any court proceeding anywhere in the United States. <laughs> if I went to, <laughs> well, let's say I wanted to appeal the dissolution of marriage and <laughs> Judge Rohr said, no, you weren't there and <laughs> you didn't let us know within the first uh, 180 days. <laughs> <laughs> but you had actual notice that I did not receive a uh, notice of the court hearing. Now, whose fault is it for? Oops. I think it's the court's fault. Mm -hmm. See, I don't appear in court without actual accurate, right? Uh, notice of court hearings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this appealing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, 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 public witness of the government's administration and through his courts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May attempt to avert trial by questioning the court's authority to hear the case. Uh -huh. <laughs> Personal jurisdiction, a lack of subject matter. Mm -hmm. Now, two of the most significant bases for this challenge are lack of personal jurisdiction yeah. and lacks of subject matter jurisdiction. Cool. You know, that's what it says in the VAWA approach. Now, when it's not reasonable notice, it's not accurate and it's not timely. Yes. How can I uh, actually appeal a court decision without ever getting notice? Now, I told you what the VAWA says. Yes. Mm-hmm reasonable, accurate, and timely notice is what would be defined as protecting the respondent's due process rights? Yes. Um, but this thought of issuing a dissolution of marriage where the court two days after received notice that I did not receive notice of court hearings, exactly whose uh, obligation is it to motion the court, my obligation or yours? <laughs> Now, subject matter jurisdiction concerns the competence or power of a court to hear a particular kind of case. Mm -hmm. It is rarely concerned in state litigation because the state's law gives its courts power to hear any sort of civil case. Yeah. <laughs> subject matter jurisdiction is in contrast to major concern of the federal courts, which are courts of limited jurisdiction. <laughs> Their power to hear a particular case must be authorized under the language of Article 3 of the Constitution. <laughs> authorized by a state, most issues of federal subject matter jurisdiction involve questions of statutory interpretation. <laughs> now, when you don't give me reasonable, accurate, and timely notice because there's no attempt of service. Well, exactly who has um, personal subject matter jurisdiction? <laughs> Does it the court that issued the dissolution of marriage? I don't think you had uh -huh, personal or subject matter jurisdiction when you received two days after issuing the dissolution of marriage notice of unclaimed mail. <laughs> now, it looks like, yes, if I were to motion the court without them having personal jurisdiction and subject matter jurisdiction when they had actual documentation that I did not receive notice of court hearings <laughs> as soon as they refused to remove their... Oh, I'm sorry. 
you don't have jurisdiction or subject matter jurisdiction to hear me motion a court where I was not given reasonable, accurate, and timely notice of court proceedings. <laughs> it looks like, oh, courts, uh -huh, district and superior courts of counties, yes, in each and every state of the United States only have jurisdiction, yes, when there's reasonable, accurate, and timely notice. Mm -hmm. See, if I were to motion the court, you would think you do have personal jurisdiction mm -hmm. and subject matter jurisdiction, yes. But when I inform you that you don't, fooch, as in you have no policing power, mm -hmm. you have no authority of law. <laughs> when I inform you of what the law says, and you sit there as a judge saying, well, he should just motion the court if he has a problem with what we do. You had no personal jurisdiction mm -hmm. or subject matter jurisdiction without reasonable, accurate, and timely notice of court hearings to the respondent, yes, without the signature of the petitioner, yes. When you used a forgery of the elected oath of office, it became apparent there is no personal jurisdiction or subject matter jurisdiction. <clears throat> now, maybe the judges in Clallam County would realize it's not that I just don't have jurisdiction. <laughs> you didn't have personal jurisdiction. That could be one of those lawsuits. <laughs> now, your remedy was, yes, Mr. Calgill, mm -hmm. Mr. Nichols, mm -hmm. Mr. Hawes. <clears throat> Why don't you get me every judge in each and every county of the United States and all their sheriff's departments? For every one of them that knows from yesterday that I said I'm going to sue you every day, yes, this is going to be damages upon damages upon damages for every fucking day. Do you understand, Bill? Using a forgery, right of a public officer, yes, means you have no personal or subject matter jurisdiction, issuing a court order, yes, where there was no timely, accurate, and, oops, just a second here, reasonable notice to myself. You never had any personal jurisdiction or subject matter jurisdiction to issue the protection orders, mm -hmm. issue the dissolution of marriage, yes, or arrest me for any fucking allegation of crime. The state of Washington has no personal or subject matter jurisdiction. <laughs> now what federal, federal, you're getting sued, uh -huh. Mr. Cowgill, <laughs> for saying my only remedy was to motion a court that never had any jurisdiction. Oops. Now, why don't you give me my son, you piece of shit, and realize that when you used a forgery to issue a court order and you had me arrested multiple times for the allegation of violating it, yes, that you dumb... <laughs>